I'm gonna do some images of a C-spine. So I'm gonna start with the AP C-spine. And our AP C-spine, we're gonna center at the thyroid cartilage. Always come to the head of, head of the table and make sure our head is perfectly straight. We're gonna center at the thyroid cartilage, which is right about here between C4 and C6. We're only gonna use about collimation down to an eight by 10 uh, IR. That's all you really need. We're gonna have her just relax and stop breathing when we take this. But right at the thyroid cartilage, we angled 15 degrees cephala because we have a curve in the spine, because of the lodotic curve in the C-spine, we have a curve like that. If we shot straight down, we would close the intertubular disc spaces. So we do have to angle 15 degrees cephalad. I'm just gonna have the patient stop breathing when we take the image. Our next projection we're gonna do is a, a dantoid view. So we're gonna angle straight down. And we can just collimate down to a four by four square. Just open it up on the sides enough so we can place our marker there. Open it up just enough to be able to place our marker on the, you can either put it on the IR or right on the table. Now we're gonna line up the base of the skull to the upper incisors. So the upper incisors is the bottom part of the teeth. So between right here and the, and the top teeth. And then we're gonna have her open, once this is lined up, which is, this is the base of the skull that's right here. And we're gonna have her open her mouth as wide as she possibly can. Open your mouth wide. And I usually demonstrate this to the patient so they actually know I really want them to open their mouth up wide enough. And just like that, and she's just gonna stop breathing. And that would be our odontoid view.